Pressure is building on the government to fix the nation's housing crisis. A new poll finding Aussies are increasingly in favour of some big, bold policies that could do just that. Some of these options are policies that would have been considered completely radical just a few years ago. They're already gaining mainstream traction. The measures? Not the government's, but signature policies proposed by the Greens and the Coalition, including a freeze on rent increases, more restrictions on foreigners buying up stock and allowing people to access their super to buy a house. Even the controversial shorten era crackdown on negative gearing, which Labor promptly dumped after their 2019 loss. Well, Aussies now say they're up for limiting negative gearing to just one investment property. Well, let's think about negative gearing. It does have an impact on the market, but research says it's probably about 4%. So just getting rid of that alone won't fix the housing market. It won't make it easy to get into houses. Nearly 60% say they're in favour of capping migration until there is enough affordable housing. We saw um, our house housing crisis get much worse during the pandemic at a time when, when immigration was actually halted. So it's not the source of the problem, but it is potentially both a contributor to the problem and to solutions. It's an important contributor to workforce, in particular in key worker industries, including housing construction. And as always, the devil is in the detail. The idea of rent control or putting some sort of limit on the, the rapid increases of rent prices is a valid one in itself, but simple freeze across the country over a two year period is likely to trigger a bounce-back effect, as we're seeing now as a result of freezes during the pandemic. Policies with possible pitfalls. The problem with some ideas, like letting people access super for housing, is that it simply pushes up the price of housing. If you have everyone competing and you give them more money, guess what happens? It just becomes more expensive. So as more Aussies back in Greens and coalition policies, if the PM doesn't solve the crisis, could the government's honeymoon be over? There's no silver bullet to fix our housing crisis. When you look at what impacts housing, there's about 20 different levers. The problem is, no one wants to pull even one of those levers. Yep. Mm. The RBA is pulling the, the bank lever, though, pretty hard, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 the sure. interest lever mm. yeah, is yeah. the only one that they're prepared to pull. Mm -hmm. But I can think of three that I would pull. All right, mm -hmm. go on. Foreign owners yep. who buy, come, come here. We're competing with, for instance, Chinese millionaires. Mm -hmm. How's that ever going to be a level playing field? So why would we persist with that? Mm. The massive migration that's coming over the next two years, if there's not already housing stock, how the hell is that going to work? Mm. I lied, I've only got two levers. Uh, <laughs> with the fact, don't you think is, is that... Is, is that only new... I think it's only new dwellings, isn't it, um, with the, the foreign investment uh, and the owners? I don't know, but remember we've done a story on this show about how there's a million empty... Properties mm -hmm. in Australia. Yeah, well, some of that's Airbnb yeah. though as well. I mean, it's that's a massive contributor to this. That's a great solution. <laughs> what? Put everyone in Airbnb. Oh, <laughs> the problem is they've taken housing <laughs> stock yeah, out of the, the market issue. to turn them into yeah, hotels and families are living in their cars. The, the problem is, the, the, the point that Ziff made at the end there, there's so many, about 20 different factors. Each one yes. on their own is probably actually quite small. Mm. The problem is we've basically set up a system where every single factor seems to be pulling in the same direction, which but, is to make it unaffordable. But the right? government is doing... No, because there's been bipartisan... Well, you saw what happened when Labor went to the election in 2019 with a couple of policies. They got absolutely whacked for it, right? Yes. Because everyone who has a house wants to see the value go up. I still don't really understand why. Because all it means is if you sell your house because it's yeah, worth more, you have to go and buy another house yeah, that's still worth, worth a lot, more, yeah. which I don't, I've never really understood. So it's really just in the investor class. that, And in the meantime, rents have skyrocketed. But that's the beginning of the whole... Like, Everything else, all the inflation stuff, I think it begins and ends there. Mm. The problem is you have to remake everything and that's the work of probably decades now. That's what oh we've created over... How well, many... let's start with something. All right. Where I do you want to... I think Kate's idea, the Airbnb, that's strong. Yeah, I think we should <laughs> investigate that a bit further. <laughs> OK.